From the very early stages of my life, I believed in the idea that people should come together and not be drawn apart. I've also believed that in order to live your life, you must be yourself and do what you want. I really enjoyed the quote, I think anything is possible if you have the mindset and the will and desire to do it and put the time in, by Roger Clementine. That is my lesson and the quote that I try my hardest to live by. I believe anyone can do anything they set their mind to. Whenever I tell people this, they do one of two things. The first is they agree with me and usually the subject is changed within a minute. The second, which is very common, is when the person tells me, well does that mean I can fly? For one, yes, but you need to believe it with all of your heart. An example of this would be the day before December 17th, 1903. On this date, two brothers known as the Wright brothers had the dream of flying the first airplane. No one before them believed that they could fly, but the brothers believed, and so they flew. Another shorter example is class, which is my first AP. I didn't know that I was able to commit to this class, but once I began to believe that I could, I did. One final thing I often consider that I would like to mention is that being unique in this day and age is very important. And if you try to conform and be like everyone else, it will do nothing to benefit you in any way. Not only is it boring, but I also find it wrong. If everyone was like the other, there would be no diversity. So on to my story. It started out with my YouTube channel. 10 year old, squeaky Brandon Horton made a Minecraft video that has now earned over half of a million views. I know. Sadly, the attention at school is on the negative side and I did what I could to get out of the spotlight, which now I believe was a huge mistake. Fast forward five years and I made the decision to start my channel again, playing games that made me angry, where I yell, make weird noises, and breathe hard. In a somewhat joking manner, I made a new logo for my channel one day and placed it on a t-shirt maker on a website. I thought it looked pretty cool and played around with it for quite a long time. When the shirt was done, I had the option to put it up for sale, so I did. I remember thinking nothing of it that day and the next morning. I now realize that without knowing, I sparked something inside of myself that no longer wants to be at rest. The next day I came to history class, sat down and briefly told Jared, who proceeded to rapidly pull out his phone, unlock it, type in the web address, whip out his credit card and buy one of my shirts in the fastest succession of actions I have ever witnessed. I could not believe what had just happened. I thought to myself, oh he will just cancel the order now, or he must have used an expired gift card, but no. Jared had just spent his own hard-earned money on an overly priced, low quality, long sleeve shirt which had hardly any meaning at the time. It may have been for memes and a good laugh at our table, but Jared has been a very good friend of mine ever since. During the several weeks of Jared wearing my shirt fairly frequently to school, I realized that I wanted to make something out of the shirt idea. I've always had ideas of selling a product with a message behind it. Like most people, I watch YouTube videos fairly regularly and see many of these people creating brands and spreading their message. I soon realized that this is what I wanted to do. I began thinking of names and words that I could use for my company that would have meaning behind them and also look interesting. After several attempts at drawing out some logos and thinking of different names, I finally found the perfect one. Unified Clothing. The sound of it rang out in my ears as I said it to myself the first time, sending shivers down my spine that could never be forgotten. I began making designs and different logos for the company. I started copying the images I made and placed them onto pictures of shirts. I found websites and printing providers that print in America and chose the best quality shirt that I could. Continuing down the path of creating this company, I started creating a website. I designed it specifically how I wanted and after a long time I figured out my favorite color scheme and look. I then purchased a domain name which is now unfclothing.com. I began to realize that this is something I want to continue and try to grow as much as I can and I'm also extremely proud of what I've done. This may even benefit my college resume. The ideology of unified clothing is to bring the future and current generations together, to spread the idea of quality fashion, positivity, and the idea that everyone and everything is unified. I believe that the message that my company spreads is one that many need to take to heart. I have worked hard and plan to work even harder to make my idea a reality. I am telling you my story, to convey to you what I believe in. Be yourself and do what you love, no matter what other people tell you. From the very early stages of my life, I have believed that people should come to get- oh, okay, my chair just squeaked hard.